Hi guys, today I've got two little devices a USB meter which can be connected to a PC using a Bluetooth connection and a USB load. This load comes in two versions uh, the civil grade and industrial grade versions. I've got the industrial grade one. The difference is in the fan. The civil grade version comes with the uh, oil bearing fan and this one the industrial grade comes uh, with a ball bearing fan which makes much lower noise uh, and is more durable but before uh, talking about their specifications and their functions let's start with unboxing this is the box which I've received it's a lightweight plastic box uh, which provides very good protection for the content it's something I've never seen before uh, in parcels from China so let's open it by the way it's reusable there are two rolls inside the first one is the USB load you can see it's packed in a very long roll of protective material <laughs> so it's very well protected <laughs> this is the USB load and the second one again tons of protective material and a steel case I need to take it out but I can't wait a second So here is the USB tester. Oops, it's tight. Here we go. It has a protective film on both sides. So you can remove it or you can leave it on the tester. So let's take a closer look at these devices. The model number of this USB tester is UM24C. The C stands for communication because this is Bluetooth enabled one. But there is also a simplified version uh, which has model number UM24. It comes without Bluetooth module. This guy has four buttons. One, two, three, four. Two input ports, one USB port and one micro USB, and one output port. Let's connect it now. You can see the software version 1.5. The startup is very quick. So on the main screen you can see the measured values and uh, the functions of the buttons. So this button is used for help, this one is for next, and these two buttons are used for rotating the screen. So if you long press on these buttons, say on this one, there we go, it has rotated the screen. And now uh, the functions of the buttons are changed. Now for rotating uh, we can use these two buttons and this one is for help and this one is for next screen. So uh, let's rotate it back. Here we go. And look at the main screen. The UM24C has seven screens and this is the first of them. On this screen you can see the voltage the current, the measured capacity, energy, the impedance of the load and the power. 
It also displays uh, the temperature and the number of memory cells in which it will save the data. In total it has 10 memory cells. Let's take a look at the help page. The help page says that if we won't press the help button we can clear the measured capacity and energy and if we won't press the next button we can choose uh, the memory cell. So let's choose another memory cell. I will choose number 5. And let's pass to the next screen. This screen looks much similar to the first screen, but here you can see the voltage on the data lines of the USB and the mode. Here the mode is unknown, but it can be uh, QC2 or QC3 if Quick Charge 2 or Quick Charge 3 modes are detected. So let's pass to the first screen. This screen displays the measured capacity, energy, the duration of the measurement, the minimum value of current from which it starts recording and the state of recording. So the minimum value here is 0 0.10 amps, which means that when the current is below 0 0.10 amps it doesn't record any data and when the current is uh, bigger than 0 0.10 amps it records the data. When the rack is red it doesn't record the data and here you can see the record is uh, green so it records the data. So let's push down the current to stop the recording. Here we go, you can see it turned red and it doesn't record any data right now. So let's push it back. We can change uh, the minimum value by long pressing the next button and after that uh, by short pressing it we can choose uh, the desired value from 0 to 0 0.40 amps. Let's say 0 0.20 amps. And again by long pressing the next button we quit the editing mode. And let's pass to the fourth screen. This is the screen of micro USB cables resistance measurement. You can see the first picture is blinking, which means that uh, we need to connect the USB tester directly to the USB port without any cable. Like this. And we need to connect a USB load, which can provide one amp current. Here we need to fine tune the current and when it is 1 amp we need to long press the next button. Wait a second. Here we go. Now the second picture is blinking and we need to disconnect the USB tester, connect the uh, micro USB cable and connect it to the USB tester like this. And again uh, when the current is 1 amp we need to long press the next button but first we need to fine tune the current. like this. Here we go. So the result is 0 0.26 ohms, which is a very good result for a, a micro USB cable which has a 1 meter length. So let's disconnect the load and switch the next screen. This screen shows the graph of voltage, so we can see the uh, ups and downs of voltage. And if we connect the USB load, you can see the voltage drops. And when we change the current, the voltage also changes.
so that's it and the next screen is the graph of current and again the same thing when we change the current we can see the ups and downs here let's pass to the next screen this is the settings page here we can change the timeout of sleeping mode the brightness of the LCD screen and the format of uh, temperature to start changing we need to long press the next button and then by short pressing the next button choose the right value we can choose from 0 to 9 minutes 0 means that it will never go to the sleeping mode to pass to the next uh, setting we need to long press the next button again here we go now I can change the brightness I can change from 0 to 5 so there are 6 levels of brightness and again uh, by long pressing the next button I pass to the next uh, setting which is the temperature format and I can choose from Fahrenheit and Centigrade to quit the settings uh, I need to long press the next button again that's it this red light is blinking right now because uh, the USB meter isn't connected to the computer using Bluetooth so let's connect it to the computer you can see the sign of Bluetooth appeared on the screen and the red light stopped blinking so let's take a look at the PC software this is the interface of the PC software version 1.2 the advantage of this software is that you can have all the data right in front of your eyes without going through the seven screens and also you can control uh, the USB tester remotely let's look how it works here is the USB tester and I will change the brightness of the LCD screen you can see it works I can also rotate the screen pass to the next page switch the memory group or clear the data also I can see all the data saved in memory cells here as well as other data like voltage current power etc here I have uh, the voltage graph and the current graph uh, which I can save uh, to a file or export to Microsoft Excel or to a clipboard so let's try to export to Excel here it is let's try to save as a file save to file we enter the file name click OK and save it saves uh, BMP format files you can see here it is this PC software is very easy to use and I prefer using it rather than switching uh, the screens on the USB tester the manufacturer says that this USB load can provide current from 0.15 to 3 amps and power up to 15 watts so let's check it I will push up the current and uh, on the screen you will see the current and the power here so let's start 
First of all, you can see that it can provide current much lower than 0.15 amps, which is very good. The fan isn't blowing right now. The power is 10 watts. Fourteen watts. Fourteen. The fan starts blowing, and it's getting uh, a little bit hot. Seventeen watts. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. 22 and 23 watts you can see uh, the current has reached uh, almost 3 amps as the manufacturer said and uh, the power is much more than 15 watts uh, by the specs which is also very good In the end we have two very useful devices. The USB tester can not only display the voltage and current, uh, but it can also measure uh, the capacity, the energy, it can measure the resistance of a micro USB cable, it supports QC2 and QC3 modes, and it can be connected to a PC to control it remotely and uh, save the measured data. The USB load has also surprised me because it can do much more than it's declared in its specifications. That's all for today, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye bye.